Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Yes, literally the week has just finished, but the Championship is back on Tuesday and Wednesday night. Another week of predictions already. Um, just a quick reminder before I get started, um, I'm after a thousand subs come the end of the season, so basically May. Um, Guys, the best way you can help me achieve that goal is by sharing my videos um, and telling people about my channel. And let's see if we could do the challenge together. Um, and if it's accomplished, there'll be a special video and a big thank you from me. Um, but how quick you see that video is up to you guys. Um, you know, obviously it depends how we go in there. Yeah, just share my videos and let's see if we can do it come the end of the season. And then obviously we've got the Euros coming up as well, which means there'll be more uploads anyway. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, the first game I'll kick off with is Black, uh, Birmingham versus Blackburn. Uh, Blackburn 2-2 at home to Huddersfield. Birmingham losing 1 0 away to Leagues. Um, I think that point on a Blackburn perspective it's gonna it's gonna be more um you know with I think the point's gonna be worth more the well I was looking for to Huddersfield than what it is Blackburn. Obviously it all depends where teams are going up coming the end of the season. But where the table is at the minute, that point is worth more to Huddersfield. Um, so probably a bit of a bad that the office for Blackburn. Um, Birmingham, on the other hand, losing 1 0 against Leagues away from home. Birmingham are, you know, getting themselves established back in the Championship again. Um, so I don't have a too bad a day for Birmingham, a result like that. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Millwall versus Cardiff. Now, we all talk, we all, well, I saw the Cardiff game, I'm not sure about all of you. Um, please feel free if you want to tell me whether you watched it or not. We all saw the Cardiff goal. Now, Obviously it was given, wrongly in my opinion, I think he was offside, he was interfering with play. Um, obviously no VAR in the championship. But this is where, you know, if there's no VAR in any of the English leagues, you know, it is in the Premier League, but I'm just saying if there wasn't, how many offside goals will be scored? And that, you know, you've got to start questioning. Um, but anyway, Cardiff, one all draw, uh, offside goal or not. Um, Millwall losing 3-2 away to Brentford. Not a bad result in a Millwall win. They lost, yes, but you know, it's away to Brentford and that's not the easiest place to go you know, anyway. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Cardiff City win. My next one is Preston North End versus Leeds United. Preston North End losing 1-0 away to Reading. Leeds beating Birmingham 1-0 at home. A bad day for Preston North End. A bad day for Preston. Uh, I think I'll put them down to win that one as well. Um, Leagues, on the other hand, now at home, I'll probably be more um, sort of annoyed if Birmingham got a point out of that from a league's perspective anyway. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Preston North End win. My next one is QPR versus Reading. Just as you mentioned, Reading, 1-0 winners at home against Preston North End. QPR beating Hull City 3 2 away from home. So both of these teams are going in with a victory from the weekend. But where do you. 
see on a red in end, I'd be happy with them three points, and I suppose you are. Um, you know. But as a Reading fan, if you are a Reading fan, please feel free to put your comments down below to this question. Where do you think you're going to end up come the end of the season? Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 nil QPR win. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Stoke City. Stoke beating Fulham 2 nil at home. I'll get more on that in just a minute. Sheffield Wednesday, 1-0 away to Cardiff. I've already spoken about that Cardiff game um, on the goal. Uh, looking at it overall, I think Cardiff do deserve a point. But I still don't think that goal should have stood. But no VAR, this is what you're going to get. Um, Stokes it on the other hand, beating Fulham 2-0. A relief for Nathan Jones and Stoke and the coaching staff and everyone else involved with Stoke. Um, beating Fulham 2-0. Fulham's not the easiest team to play, but Stoke, you know, still managed to get a victory over them, so well done to you, Stoke. Um, hopefully your troubles are starting to look slightly over. I think this is the second one you got on the bounce. So hopefully, who knows, maybe if two three weeks more i'll be talking to you outside the relegation zone um if you're not already out the relegation zone um but yeah as i said great uh three points for stoke but as far as this result goes i've gone for a one all score line for that one my next one is swansea city versus brentford Brentford beating Millwall 3 2 at home. Swansea 1 0 away to Barnsley. Um, I don't know why I've done that accent then. Um, but disappointing day for Swansea. Let's not, with Swansea, you know, um, trying to cover them in any way. Barnsley, no disrespect to Barnsley whatsoever. The team that, teams like Swansea. Sw uh, Swansea should be beaten, um, but I didn't, so fair play to Barnsley. Brentford beating Millwall 3 2 at home. Great three points for Brentford. Expecting nothing less from Brentford. Um, I know they've had the odd you know, result against them there and then, but you know, great, great three points for Brentford. How well Millwall will be playing of late. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Swansea City win. My next one is West Brom and Albion versus Barnsley. Just as we mentioned Barnsley. Um, Barnsley won all at home against Swansea City. West Brom and Albion beat Middlesbrough 1-0 away from home. What I've heard of that Middlesbrough game is it was a very dodgy game. What I've been hearing anyway. But I'm going to cause a shock for this game. And I'll tell you what I'm going to call the result this way. Um, so you can roughly tell what I'm going to call it. Um, it's because results of late have, you know, been taking a bit of a turn. You know what I'm saying? Akrican Stanley beating Ittridge at home um, this weekend in League One. Bottom of the table first, top of the table. Which one I'm going to call this result this. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Barnsley win. My next one is Bristol City versus Charlton Athletic. Bristol City beating Luton Town 3-0. Uh, sorry, not beating Luton Town. Losing to Luton Town 3-0. Charlton beating Derby County 3-0 at home. Disappointing day for Bristol City. Disappointing um, for Bristol City. You're not going to get promoted that way. No disrespect to Bristol City whatsoever. Um, but their games are going to have to win. Shelton, three points against Derby County. You know, Derby ain't been, you know, what they were under Frank Lampard last season. But great three points for Charlton as well. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1-0 scoreline for that one. 
Our next one is Derby County versus Wigan Athletic. Just as you mentioned Derby, you know, 3-0 uh, losers away to Charlton. Wigan Athletic beating Nottingham Forest 1-0 at home. Great three points for Wigan. I actually watched that game. Um, and this one's turned by, you know, bottom of the table teams beating top of the table. I know Knox Forest aren't, I don't think they're top. And I know Wigan are not bottom, but this one's what I'm saying. Um, but great three points for Wigan. Thoroughly deserved our fault um, over the 90 minutes. You know, going into a dodgy, I well, can't say dodgy, um, you know, a downhill Derby County team since last season. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Fulham versus Luton Town. Luton beating Bristol City 3 0 at home. Fulham losing 2 0 away to Stoke. Disappointing day for Fulham. Um, I think when I did my championship prediction table at the start of the year, I had Fulham in to get. Uh, I think I put them in the automatic automatic promotion places. I need to beat teams like Stoke. No disrespect to Stoke. Um, you know, if any teams got to get promoted, then bottom teams. That's no disrespect to the championship or because I know it is such a hard division. They're the teams that need to be beaten week in week out. But um, you know, great great result for uh, Stoke. Disappointing day for Fulham. Luton beating Bristol City 3 now. Yet again, same what I just said. But great three points for Luton Town. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 for them win. My next one is Huddersfield versus Middlesbrough. Huddersfield 2 2 away to Blackburn, settling well under their new, management, under their new manager. Middlesbrough losing 1 0 at home to West Brom Albion. Now, now, now. Um, Huddersfield, a great point. I've always just said that. Middlesbrough, yeah, again, you know, going downhill fast. Um, but Huddersfield now seems to be settling in under their new management. And, you know, they still got a long way to go to see where they're going up. But I don't think Huddersfield will, will get relegated. But I need to keep this form up. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Huddersfield Town win. My last one for this weekend, weekend midweek, is Nottingham Forest versus Hull City. Hull City losing 3 2 at home to uh, Queen's Park Rangers. Nottingham Forest losing. 1-0 away to Wigan. Disappointing day for Knox Forest. And more, I'll probably be more disappointed from a Knox Forest fan to someone like to not beat Wigan than for Hull to lose against QPR. I know Hull that you know, you will be disappointed, of course you will, but I'm just saying I think I'd be more dis be disappointed if I was an Oxford fan than a Hull fan. Because now Hull's coming in confidence with this result. Um, but, anyway, I've given this result a 3-1 Nottingham Forest win. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.